Hello everyone, I am Gauri Bhutte, Assistant Professor in First Year Department, VPK Bhaiti Bhatti. I welcome you all on my video lecture of subject Engineering Mathematics 2. Topic is Curve Tracing and today I topic of video lecture is Parametric Type of Curve. So in this video I discuss the rules for parametric equation and some example based on parametric type of curve. So first, what is the parametric type of curve? So equation x and y are functions of t, then it is parametric equation. So x is f of t, y is g of t. Example, x is 4t square and y is equal to 2t. It is the equation of parabola and it is parametric type of curve. So in parametric, x is function of t. Y is also single function variable of single variable function of t, then it is parametric curve. Now we see rules for parametric curve. So rules we see as a Cartesian curve, symmetry, intersection with coordinate axis x and y, then some special point, then tangent at special point, and table for the value of special point that is x, y, dy by dx, and Limits of x and y that is minimum and maximum value if x. So we see all these rules one by one. So rule one symmetry. So symmetry above x axis. So for the curve x is equal to f of t, y is equal to g of t. If after replacing t by minus t, if x remains unchanged and y changes to minus y, then curve is symmetric above we check I replace t by minus t if x remains unchanged and y changes to minus minus then curve is symmetric about x axis that is x is an even function and y is an odd function for example x is 4 t square and y is equal to 2 t so here x is even y is odd so this curve is symmetric about x axis Symmetry above y axis. So again replace t by minus t. If x changes its signs and y remains unchanged, then curve is symmetric above y axis. That is, here x is odd function and y is even function, then curve is symmetric above y axis. Okay. One more condition is there to check symmetry about y axis. We replace t by term pi minus t. If y remains unchanged and x changes to minus x, then also curve is symmetric above y axis. Okay, so this is symmetry about x and y axis. So first simple, if x is even function, y is odd, then curve is symmetric above x axis. If x is odd, y is even, curve is symmetric above y axis. And if after replacing t by pi minus t, if x changes to minus x and y remains unchanged, then also curve is symmetric above y axis. Now next, symmetry above opposite quadrant. So when both x and y are odd functions of t, then curve is symmetric in opposite quadrant. Let us see example. So here, this curve is symmetric above opposite quadrant because it is or function cos cube and sin cube x is sin cube t y cos cube t y is sin cube t like this so here it is symmetric above opposite quadrant as well as symmetric about x axis as well as symmetric about y axis now this curve is symmetric about y axis okay now we see next rule how we find intersection with x and y axis so first intersection with x axis. So, we find out value of t for which y becomes 0. If there is some t for which y is 0, then curve intersects x axis. And now to find out intersection point, we find out for same value of t, value of x. Okay. So, here suppose x is 
sec prime sin of k y is 1 minus cos t. So when this term becomes 0, then 1 minus cos t is 0, that is cos t is 1. So when cos t is 1, if t becomes 0. So for t is 0, y becomes 0. And for that value of t, this t 0, sin 0, 0, x is 0. So therefore, x is also 0. So curve intersect x axis at 0, 0. Similarly, intersection with y axis, we are finding on y axis, x is 0. So we find out some value of t for which x becomes 0. If this is x is, then curve intersect x, y axis here, sorry. So, y is equal to g of t, we are finding value here for that value of t. Now, if there exists some value of t for which x and y become 0 simultaneously at the same time, then curve passes through origin. So, when curve passes through origin, for the same value of t, if x and y become 0 simultaneously, then curve passes through origin. So, see in above example, here for t is 0, y is 0, and x is also 0. So, this curve passes through origin because for t is equal to 0, x and y become 0, same time. Okay. Here also another example x is 4t square, y is 2t. So, for t is 0, again this x and y become 0 simultaneously. Curve passes through origin. Okay. This is the second rule. We are finding intersection with x axis, y axis and we check if this curve passes through origin or not. Now, next rule, we are finding some special curve. So, we are taking some values of t that is t1, t2, 0, 1 like this or depend upon the function 0, 5 by 2, 5. And for that value, we are finding value of x corresponding y and corresponding dy by dx. So we prepare table for some special values of x. So to find out dy by dx, dy by dx is dy by dt upon dx by dx. And then if my dy by dx is 0, at some point t1, then tangent at that point is parallel to x axis we draw. If dy by dx is infinity, then tangent at that point is parallel to y axis. This is the rule 3. So, what we do in rule 3? We take some particular values of t, t1, t2, and we are finding x, y, and dy by dx at that point, and we check nature of tangent. Now, we are finding limits of x and y. So, here x is given some function of y, t, y is given some function of t. So, we are finding maximum and minimum value for x and y in this case. And these are the, according to this, we draw the curve. So, for example, here x is t times t plus sin t. So, here no limit for this, all values of t. Therefore, for x, there is no limit. But cos t is between minus 1 to 1. So, minus cos t is also between minus 1 to 1. So, 1 minus cos t is between 0 to 2. So, therefore, range for y is between 0 to 2. And there is no range for x. Again here, another example. x is even function. So, it is always greater than equal to x is t square. So, it is always positive. So, x is greater than equal to 0. Minimum value 0, maximum value 0. And here, for all values of y, it is t cube, it might be negative. There is no limit for all values of So, in this way, we are finding limits. So, what we see? Symmetry, then some special points and limits for x and y. Table for special points and dy by dx and limits for x and y. Now see, now example 1, trace the cycloid A, x is equal to t times t plus sin of t and y is equal to 8 times 1 minus cos of t. So, 
So we write first given equation x is equal to t times sorry a times t plus sin t and y is equal to a times 1 minus cos of t. So now we apply rules and we are trying to trace the rough graph of this curve. So first symmetry. So what we observe x is t plus sin t. That is it is odd function sin t is odd. Addition of two odd function is odd. So x is an odd function. And y is even function. When I replace t by minus t cos t is even function. So y is even function. So here x is odd y is even. So conclusion is curve is symmetric about y axis. Okay. Now second thing I check intersection with x axis. So I find out some value of t for which y becomes 0. So for which values y is 0 when cos t becomes 0. So we know that when t is 0 cos 0 is 1 and 1 minus 2 is 0. So for t is equal to 0 this y becomes a times 1 minus cos 0 that is 1 minus 1. So it is 0. For t is 0, y is 0. So means curve intersect x axis. And for that value of t we are finding x. When I put here t is 0, I get 0. So x is a 0. So curve intersect x axis at point 0, 0. Means origin. Now we find intersection with y axis. Now for which values of t x becomes 0? So this t is 0 only when t is 0. So therefore t is 0, sin t is 0, t is 0 means x is 0. So therefore for t is 0, y is also 0. So curve intersect y axis is also at origin. And for t is 0, both values x and y are also 0. So here curve passes through origin. Now we prepare table. So to find out table, first we find out value of dy by dx. So what is dy by dx? dy by dt upon dt by So x is given as, y is given as. 1 minus cos of t. So derivative of dy by dt is 8 times derivative of minus cos t is sin t. So it is 8 times sin t and x is given as 8 times t plus sin t. So its derivative is t plus cos t and we simplify this to get tan of t by t. Okay. So here it must be plus and it is 2 cos square t by 2. Tan of t by t. So we prepare the table here. So when t is 0, what is value of x? x is 0. Value of y? y is also 1 minus cos 0 t. So xy point becomes 0, 0. Then dy by dx. Tan 0 is? Okay. So when it is 0, then nature of tan t is parallel to x axis at point 0. Now we take next point t2 is pi by 2. So when t is pi by 2, sin pi by 2 is 1, t is pi by 2. So it is 8 times pi by 2 plus 1. And here cos pi by 2 is 0. So it becomes a into 1 is 0. So x y coordinate is 8 times pi by 2 plus 1 comma 0. Okay. Now at tangent at this point is pi by 2 by 2 which become pi by 4 tan pi by 4 is pi. So we cannot conclude this okay, about tangent. Now we take third point t is pi. Now why I am choosing this point because my function point is trigonometric point. So instead of taking 1 2 I take pi by 2 pi. So here t is pi again sin pi is 0 t become pi. So it is a pi. Here cos pi is minus 1, so minus minus plus 1, it becomes 2 times a, y becomes a. So value of x, y point is a pi comma 2. 
and here 10 pi by 2 become infinity so we will be infinity so nature of tangent when dy by dx is infinity is parallel to x similarly we are finding the value of t x and y when t is 2 pi so when t is 2 pi it becomes 2 pi a and here it is cos 2 pi 0 plus 0 1 minus 1 0 again here it is 2a pi comma 0 so it is again intersect with x axis 2a pi comma 0 so curve also intersect at x axis and 2a pi comma 0 okay and here dy by dx is 0 means it is parallel to x axis and okay so now we check limits so y is given as a times 1 minus cos t we know value of cos t is between minus 1 to 1 so therefore minus cos t is also between minus 1 to 1 and then if i add everywhere 1 or if I subtract 1 minus 1, it becomes 0 less equal 1 minus cos t less equal 1 plus 1 that is 2. I add everywhere 1. So 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus cos t and 1 plus 1, 2. So what it implies? 0 less equal I multiply by a. a times 1 minus cos t less equal 2a. So limits for y is 0 to 2a. So y is lies between minimum value of y is 0, maximum value of y is 2. So, in this way, when cos sine function, we start with that and we adjust the function according to y, multiply by minus 1, then add plus 1, multiply a, and we bring here y. In this way, we are finding limits for y. So, here lower limit is 0, upper limit is 2. Now, if we observe limits for so, x is a times t plus sin t. So, for this t, all values between minus infinity to infinity. So, therefore, x has no limit. x is x is for all values of t. Now, with the help of all these special points, tangent and symmetry, we are drawing the curve or rough sketch of this cycloid x is a times t plus sin t y is a times 1 minus y. So first curve intersect x axis at origin so 0 0 and at the point here in previous table at point pi it is a pi comma 2 pi. So we draw in that way here at t is pi a pi comma 2 pi and tangent at origin is 0 means parallel to x axis and tangent at pi is infinity parallel to y axis. So in this way we draw smoothly this curve due to symmetry curve is of this type along y axis. Now again at 2 pi value is 2 a pi comma 0 here it is point on x axis, y coordinate is 0, and again here tangent is 0. So smoothly we draw the curve such that here tangent is x axis. So in this way we draw the curve of this state due to symmetry here also. Okay? And the value of y is periodic of period 2 pi. So after this period 0 to 2 pi, the graph of curve is repeated like this. And we get like this curve for all values. So, value of y between 0 to 2a only. After this 2a, no part of curve. So, this is the minimum value of y, maximum value of y is a. But it exists for all the range of x and y between 0 to 2. Okay. So, this curve means double point or tangent is common to this matrix. So here in this way we draw this cycloid curve for x is equal to a times t plus sin t 
twice a times one minus cos two. Cos is two point zero zero a pi comma two a two a pi comma zero in this way. And due to symmetry also we draw like this. Now we see next example, example number 2, trace the curves, this is asteroid actually, x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to, now what is given equation, x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to power 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3. So now it is Cartesian curve, it is not full parametric curve, but it is very difficult due to this fraction powers or Cartesian rule. So therefore we convert it into parametric equation. Now we use some proper substitution such that the x and y satisfy this equation. So if I put x is a cos cube t and y is a sin cube t, so it becomes s a raised to 2 by 3 cos square t plus a raised to 2 by 3 sin square t. So cos square plus sin square become 1. So the only common term is a raised to 2 by 3. So this substitution satisfy this equation. Therefore it is parametric equation for given curve. X is a cos cube t y is a sin cube t. Now we trace the curve for this parametric curve. We have follow all rules. Now, if we observe, x is even uh, function. Cos is even, cos cube is also even function. And y is sine. So, it's third power. So, odd power is there. So, y is odd function. Sine cube is odd function. So, x is even, y is odd. It means curve is symmetric about x axis. Now, for why there is another test replace t by pi minus t so we check that when i replace t by pi minus t cos cube of pi minus t so cos of pi minus t is minus cos t so it becomes cos cube of pi minus t is minus a times cos cube of t this is minus a now here we replace in pi sine of pi minus t is plus sine t Therefore, sin cube of pi minus t is sin cube t and here y of pi minus t becomes plus pi. So, after replacing t by pi minus t, y remains unchanged with this sign. So, curve is symmetric upon y. So, due to x is even, curve is even, y is not, curve is symmetric upon x axis. Due to second test of y axis, Curve is also symmetric upon y. Now we check intersection with x and y. So first we are finding for this side of t y. So simple sine cube t is zero means sine t is zero. For t is zero, sine zero is zero. So y is zero. And for t is zero, what is the value of x? Cos 0 is 1, so cos cube 0 is 1, so x becomes t. So for t is 0, y is 0 and x is t. So curve intersect x axis at the point, not origin is 0, comma. Now intersection with y axis. For which values of t, x becomes 0. So when cos is 0, cos x is t is pi by 2. When t is pi by 2, x becomes cos cube pi by 2. So t is 0. And for that value, sin pi by 2 is 1. So therefore, curve intersects y axis at the point 0, comma a again. Here make the correction, not origin, 0, comma a, here a, comma b. Now we cannot find the value of t for which sine and cos become 0 sine infinity. Therefore, there is no value of t for which x and y become 0 sine infinity. So, curve.
term does not pass through point. Now, we are prepared a table for special point. For that, first we find dy by dt. So, dy by dt become dy by dt upon dx. So, x is, uh, sorry, y is a sin t. This derivative is b a sin t by t in the derivative of x is a cos t. Derivative is a cos t by t into minus sin derivative of cos t sin t. So, here we cancel some terms. Tan of t or minus t. So we prepare the table for special point 0, 5 by 2 and 5. So x becomes a cos t t. So for t is 0, x is 0 and y is 0, sin t is 0. So x y point is a cos t. So it is the point on x y. Now t is 5 by 2, x is 0, y becomes sin 5 by 2, 1, minus 1, 8. So here at 5 by 2, 0, 8, it is the point of the Then t is 5, cos 5 minus 1, cos 2, 5 minus 2, it is minus 8, sin 5 by 2, y is Now dy by dx at the point 0, tan 0 is 0, tan 5 is infinity, tan 5 is 2, that is we get 0. Again here if you find out minus 5 by 2, we get the value is opposite to 0. Now when tangent dy by dx is 0, nature of tangent is directed that is when dy by dx is infinity, it is value to 5. Now, with the help of this table and symmetry, we are finding the rough sketch of the table. Before this, we find out limit. So, x is given a cos cube t, y is given a sin cube t. So, we know value of cos and sin is likely to minus 2. So, if I take cube on all sides, minus 1 cube becomes minus 1. Cos cube t, 1 cube t. So limit for cos cube t is also between minus 1. Sin cube t is also between minus 2. So I multiply both sides by a. Minus a less than equal to cos cube t. Minus a less than equal to sin cube t. Now this is nothing but my x. This is my y. So limit of x and y are minus 2. So x ranges from minus 2 to x y is from minus 2. Now again we see the point a comma 0, 0 comma a, then minus 2 comma a. Now how we join this point either this way or this way. This is according to tangent. If we observe in previous paper, at the point a comma 0, dy by dx is 0, means tangent is parallel to x axis. So here, at this point, tangent must be parallel to x axis. So I draw the curve through the image. If I draw the curve in this way, tangent must be parallel to y axis. Okay? So tangent is parallel to x axis. So I draw the curve. Now here at 0, comma a, tangent nature of tangent dy by dx is infinity. This is to y. At dy by dx, I join like this. So, here is tangent is y for this. So, now, due to symmetry about x axis, we draw like this. And symmetry about y axis, here it is opposite. So, only I join or draw the curve in first quarter. Due to symmetry about x and y axis, it is in this. So we are using here symmetry, then nature of tangent, particular point, also the limit value, x lies between minus a to a, y is also between minus a. Here x is between only the range minus a to a, and 
y is to minus two. So this is the as per rule. We are using this as per for curve uh, rectification of curve as well as in the multiple integrals. Okay. Now I discuss these two examples. U plus example x is x upon a raised to 2 by 3 plus y by 3 raised to 2 by 3. So this is a similar example of previous one. Only substitute here instead of x is a cos cube t as it is, y is instead of a here is t sin t. Okay. And same property is needed only here a and b values needed. You get limits of x is minus a here, limits of y is minus. All other remaining properties are same. So, as a previous one, just to plan, this curve is symmetric about both x and y axis. The curve intersects x axis as minus 2, comma 0, a, comma 0. y axis as 0, comma b, 0, comma b, okay? and limit. This is just try special point nature of tangent. Let us try another example. X is t squared, y is t cube by t. So, curve is symmetric about x. 1 plus 1 t. The cycloid for this curve is of the form. For this cycloid, we get a set of curves. Curve first curve, third curve passes to 0, 0, t is 0, y becomes a x is 0, okay. And at the point of y, first phi becomes minus 1, y becomes 0, x becomes a plus 0, and a comma 0, here is the point. Due to tangent, they draw the curve in this way. So similarly, try this. Cycloid another x is a times t minus sin t y is a times t plus one. Okay. So thank you for more videos. Subscribe my channel. To watch more videos, subscribe my channel. Download more videos, YouTube videos. Thank you. Happy learning.